welcome back. Um, I had a uh, request to cover the differences plus pros and cons of our different universal jigs, uh, universal drilling jigs. So for pinning gas blocks. Uh, <clears throat> so first, this is our uh, universal, our what we call our Mark II. And that utilizes this rear block, which is keyed to time the barrel. And then a front block, which I don't need this muzzle block, but this uh, front block, which has a drilling arm in it with our drill bushing. So this is adjustable actually with the bar barrel. Um, the drawback with this is there's no adjustment this way, perpendicular to the barrel. So this is timed or this is indexed with the OD of the barrel. So this, this center of this uh, pin drilling hole is on the... the, the the OD of the, the barrel or the gas block journal. So it puts half of the pin in the barrel, half of the pin out of the barrel. So the, the drawback on this one is it's basically be, uh, required to have this uh, on the barrel and then you've got multiple different sizes of blocks. So it's fairly costly to produce <clears throat> if you're gonna do multiple blocks and uh, our multiple gas block journal sizes. So back on this again with the, the Mark II, um, if you don't have a gas block journal exposed in front of your gas block, you can, can still use this jig. Um, you'd add a piece of flat bar shown here. Um, you'd have to use a muzzle block as well, span to that point so you're supported on both ends and you can clamp this front block to that flat bar and then you stick the drilling arm out to get to your gas block so this can be used for that um, if you don't have the um, the exposed gas block journal in, in front of the gas block um, this is a, kind of a lot a lot of work to get it set up but it is doable um, again if you've got a, a pencil barrel or a bull barrel these blocks are available in different sizes for that Okay, so the next next jig is the Mark III Universal Jig. So this was the next attempt to uh, come up with a universal product to fit um, that wasn't designed around a specific gas block that, that would work with, with anything. So this uses, this, again, a, a rear block set up um, that's keyed with this slotted bar. And then where our slotted bar has four positions, 625, 750, 875, and 938 for the four common gas block journal sizes. <clears throat> and then this is adjustable for the different gas systems. So, you know, rifle, pistol, um, mid-length carbine. So then you've got adjustment in this vertically. Um, now, when setting this up, this needs to be squared up. There is a little bit of slop in this channel, so you would square that up, tighten this down. That actually does give you a little bit of variability here if you've got um, a gas block that has a, a pilot hole that maybe sit, sits higher or lower than, than center, um, then you could, you could possibly set that up that way. Um, however, I recommend, you know, drilling it on the, on the OD of the barrel, and in that case, it's designed to have this squared up when you tighten that down. Like I say, as you, as you get further out, the more variability you can get. Um, so on a rifle length system, you'd have have that, have more swing in that. I'm again, draw back on this. Um, obviously you have the barrel out of the upper. Uh, it is kind of bulky. Again, uh, costly to produce. Difficult to machine this slot um, because as you machine this cold rolled material, it relieves itself. So um, you get dimensional changes. So that's you know part of our issue here with uh, with the loser fit is be is because of that. So um, still works works fine. You just got to be cognizant of squaring it up. Uh, and I guess that's really about it on this one. Again, any questions? Shoot them down below in the comments. Um, next up, we'll cover the newest, uh, the Mark IV version.
Okay, so the newest the newest iteration here is this Mark IV, and the Mark IV is a uh, uh, Delrin body, so plastic body, aluminum drilling arm, um, hardened drill bushing, and I'm including a 31, number 31 size um, for a number 31 drill, uh, so you can use a standard eighth inch pin on, on most blocks, and then also I'm including a 532 bushing, I don't have one in here, but... Um, a 532nd bushing, which would be used on, on Geisley blocks. So if you're doing a Geisley block, that, that bushing would be included. Um, and not to say you could, I guess you could use a 532 pin on a standard block if you if you so choose. So the beauty of this is that it'll work. Um, it's basically bolts up to the, to the gas block on the number 10 set screw. So if you've got a gas block with a number 10 set screw, that that's slotted for that and that'll just bolt up to that. So I'm just, for this mock-up, I just have one in there. Kit comes with two, so you can run two. If you use it in conjunction with this rear block, the one's enough, because you're gonna sit flat. And I've also got the muzzle block here. So that all makes a nice little setup. If you so choose, otherwise, you would wanna use the two set screws to mount that up and you wouldn't need either one of these blocks on the ends but so very versatile um just more setup time obviously because you're you're you have to bolt this thing up um you have to set the distance you know perpendicular to the barrel you have to set the distance actually with the barrel so um just got to be cognizant of that and, and take time you'll need a caliper obviously to get to get that set up right um so currently just making we're making these in-house so they're made to order um i think we've sold maybe a half dozen of those so far and we've we've, we've only released that here about a month ago so um pretty positive so far on that and again uh, any questions just reach out to me um email or or comment below thanks for watching